Achlan, was sagt man hier, Hello and welcome, guys and girls. So, welcome to the first part of this tutorial series. Um, as you might know, we will de develop a few free application with TypeScript. But before we can do this, we need to set up the infrastructure. Basically, we need to set up the API, the backend for our web application. And if you watched my Android tutorial series, you will notice that I like uh, render.com. They have a quite easy going uh, free service to deploy applications. And that's what I like here. So please, if you don't have an account there, please sign up, log in, and then go to dashboard. And we'll create a new free web service. So let's go here and yeah, build and deploy from a Git repository. We will use my repository here. This, it is of course, where is it? Ah, here it is, backend for frontend. Uh, this is, yeah, our backend we will, we will use for the CRUD operations. And let's go back. So click on next here from a GitHub repository, GitLab repository. And yes, it might, it already knows that I have this one here. So uh, click on connect or just search for it. Give it a name. Let's call it, um, let's call it this time backend for view. I live in Vienna, Austria, so this is why I'm choosing Frankfurt, which is only six hours from Vienna. Uh, you just choose what, what is next to you. And of course, we take the free tier. Um, just just let you know the servers, they will spin down after 15 minutes if there is no activity, like if you're not hit, hitting an endpoint every 15 minutes, it will um, shut down and then it takes, it has a cold start. It will take a uh, one or two minutes until it starts again. And here we have some variables we have to give. We will do this later. We will do this later and we'll just click here on create web service. And yeah, we'll just create, create here on, click on create web service. It will create the web service. <laughs> Then we will add the environment variables. So while this is doing, we can go to Superbase. Uh, just wait, superbase.com. You get to Superbase, go to superbase.com. You also register there, then you log in. And of course, this is also a free service. They are offering um, free databases. Um, for my case, I want a Postgres database, but I think Postgres is by default. Okay. Uh, then when you are logged in, you just say new project, give it a project name, I call it task underscore DB, uh, database password, database password. I would just take uh, one you like. I would just go to password gen generator password generator gosh let's take i don't know maybe just just forwarding characters generate okay uh, normally you shouldn't do this um i would recommend not to use such thing um you should come up with a password like like a phrase cancel um like a phrase like today i walk with my dog today i walk with my dog and then you just change some things here like dog like make it a zero and yeah just stuff you can do to make a, to generate a, f a safe password, like putting a number here, like a phrase would be, for me, a phrase like this would be the most um, secure password, but nonetheless, I'm just 
taking this one from the password generator because I will not use this app in production. After this tutorial series, I will delete everything, the database and the, the web service instance on render.com. So I take this password, put it there, get say secure. And yeah, as I said, I would take the nearest region for me. And then I think then we're good to go. Great project, great new project. Don't need this. No thanks. Yeah, as you can see, this takes now a while. We're setting up, setting up the project. And here as well, as you can see, this is also still building, and it's also now spinning up. And I think I will pause now the video and I will continue when everything is finished. See you in a second. Taib, okay. Uh, yes, Shabab, guys and girls, I found out that also render has a database um, service. Like when you go on new, Postgres SQL, and then you will come to this screen. And I think I will go go now with render because Superbase might change some things regarding uh, database access. But nonetheless, you can, if you want, you can still use Superbase, but they might change some things. But I will now try the Postgres SQL on render. So uh, it's also free. Let's create the database. I mean, I just gave it a name, the project name, I think, the instance name, the database name is task, user, HBB coding, Frankfurt, uh, yeah, this is the version. I will go with the latest, free of course, and then create database. And this is now creating. And yeah. Yeah, and I think we have, because the connections is the most important part here. Uh, okay, this looks good, so now. And yes, this looks good. Now it's available, as you can see. And this is perfect because now when we go on render, we see we have our web service deployed and we have our database deployed. This is great. So if you go on a database, you click on the link. This is okay because we have the API under API v1 slash tasks. So, this should be empty. I uh, don't know. Yeah, this is, this is empty. This is good because we have no data in there, but this works. But now we can do stuff. Now we can give here the, 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 the environment variables. Here environment and here we can add the environment variables. So where are the environment variables we need? If you go to my repository backend for frontend. And here because it's a Spring Boot project, source, main, resources, and of course application on YAML because this is our actual production one. And everything you see in this dollar curly braces, this are our these are our environment variables we need. We just say here, environment server port, just give it, I don't know, 9090. Add another env environment variable. So let me just close that. I also close that. Now we need a data source username for our database. So I will open now. Um, an extra tab, go to my database, 
and let me just see username is this that's great username add environment variable the next one we need is data source password so password uh, what is my password here just copy it and paste it okay quite nice and the next one the data source url this is this will be a little bit long but it's okay the url let's paste it there just to now go to the database we will need the external url but this yeah just copy it and we will see we'll see now so okay uh, sorry i just had to figure some things out um, basically when you take the url like the external database url and i copied it here what you need is for the following you always need the jdbc colon postgresql and then you need the host like you can copy everything until the add because the things before are just the username and the password like how you coding then comes the colon and this is the password for for render but we only need the host here the host and the database the database is the after the thing after slash just take this copy it and paste it so basically you just need jdpc colon postgresql colon slash slash and then in your database you just uh take this one and some other things just copy it and and remove everything what this comes yeah would need to remove everything what comes uh before the ad or just copy everything after the ad i hope this was clear if you have questions just uh say something in the comments section down below otherwise just click on save changes and uh, yes then we will see logs basically it should trigger a new event yeah new, new deployment is going to start right now and yeah that's that's basically it we'll have to wait now and then we'll just um yeah we, we will just create a new task with our po with postman but now let's wait until this finishes see you in a second again okay Tayyip, agile um yeah it's deployed right now we can test it if if it's still available the other services are available um now we can check the swagger documentation swagger minus ui slash index dot html so this is loading i hope it doesn't take too long <laughs> okay now we have it i would say now let's create a post and as you can see for a post we need description is reminder set is task open priority i think i've already prepared something and yes i have prepared something created or not of course uh, so and now let's change the description start watching youtube uh YouTube. you yeah you're up there you serious okay and of course we have to adapt the the, 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 um, the url for us it is gosh oh, i think i missed it backend for frontend as you can see, I've 
some of those yes, this is our one this is my one so let's paste it in here okay now let's send a request to create something we we'll also test the API and if the database connection works and this looks good we have a 2000 uh, <laughs> 201 it was created uh, okay just prettifying it and as you can see it's created back to um, the web browser and when if you refresh you see here a new a new task so that's great because now our backend is deployed the connection to our database also works and now we can start with the next tutorial to to start creating the beautify project and start development because now the infrastructure our api is set up so we can do the get patch uh, post and delete requests so please don't forget to like and subscribe so see you in the next tutorial